time for my 116th John Carpenter game. Wants to be a millionaire at the UK first edition for the DVD. Right, 15 questions to win a million. Here we go. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, here we go. Now, this is question number one for 100 pounds. Who is famous for the gunfight at the OK Corral? Wayne Dweek, Wyatt Earp, Winston Guac. What's that to it? Never wired her. Very good, no problem at all. Here's question two for 200. In Elvis Press Song, what is at the end of Lonely Street? Nightmare Motel, Heartbreak Hotel, Crying Cottage, The Precious. That'd be Heartbreak Hotel. Spot on, no problem, right answer. Okay, you got 200 quid. Here's question 3 for 300. Now, how would Biscuit go the same name? How many brothers are looking for brides? 2, 4, 5, 7. It'd be 7. That's the right answer. Not the kids' name 7, but 7 brothers. <laughs> and just be aware that if you gave me a wrong answer now, you'd win nothing. I'm sure it won't happen. Here's question number 4. Who is known as the Iron Lady? Christine Hamilton, Margaret Thatcher, Mary Archer, Anne Robinson. That'd be Margaret Thatcher. I don't think my character of the, of the Archers or the weakest link would be the Iron Lady. This is the last point you could walk away with nothing. I'm sure you won't. Here comes question number five. The name of which biblical person means someone in different cultures? Moabites, Philistines, Levites, Assyrians. That'd be Philistines. Pounds in the bag guaranteed, so double that with the next question. Here it comes for two thousand pounds. As flown by the RAF, which aircraft shares its name with a large cat? Lion, Tiger, Cheetah. It's the same name as a luxury car, Jaguar. That's the right answer. <laughs> Get pretty steep from now on, so take your time and have a look at this for four thousand pounds. Charles Dickens, the Christmas Carol. What is Scrooge's first name? Uriah, Ebenezer, Moriarty. It could be Ebenezer Scrooge. Moriarty's character from Sherlock Holmes. So. Lyndon Baines Johnson, Ronald Wilson Reagan, Gerald Rudolph Ford, Richard Milhouse Nixon. Yes, I do know President's history very well. <laughs> right, we're starting to move towards some serious money. Now take a look at question 9 for £16,000. Which of these words is famously uttered in the film Citizen Kane? Rosebay, Rosebud, Rose Bush, Rose Hip. Oh, Rosebud. Again, you, right you can think that this game as well for half that question. Um, right. I think the same Six tier actually, which is 232. Which that one is uh, his dying horse, if I ever think his um, chocolate sled. Good luck. What is the name of the street urchin in Les Miserables? Larousse, Gavroche, Vinoche, Etienne. Be a Gavroche. Amazing, it's so and it should be Spoo Sam for the last five questions. Because I, I agree with Otto again. Anytime you get to the final five of this one, it's pretty much a cakewalk unless they throw a stone at you. Question number 11 is worth £64,000. Now you might as well have a go. You are still guaranteed £32,000. What is Eddie's surname in the sitcom Absolutely Fabulous? Kukai, Monsoon, Morgan, 
Then. It'd be a monsoon. Like, that's one of the ones that that would be a curveball for most of us. So. Redeem yourself from hell, put it bluntly. That's the right answer. This is obviously very serious now. This is question 13 of a possible 15 for a quarter of a million pounds. Take your time. Good luck. Here it is. Okay. Who designed the Crystal Palace for the great exhibition of 1851? Inigo Jones, Capability Brown, Joseph Paxton. Why should I ask if he's, I think, game 74, if I'm not mistaken, but it's Joseph Paxton. And this is the original Crystal Palace that was burned in a fire in 1936. <laughs> Yeah, that's a question that it doesn't pop up too frequently actually like these games though so I get sometimes sometimes you just have to expect the unexpected. If you give me a wrong answer, you will still get thirty-two thousand, but you would lose two hundred and eighteen thousand pounds. Please take as long yeah. as you want. This is number fourteen for possible fifteen. Good luck. Which English monarch had the shortest reign, just two and a half months? Edward the Sixth, Edward the Second, Edward the Eighth. The Edward the uh, Fifth. Edward the Fifth. Yeah. Edward the Eighth was about a, a year actually, and Edward the Sixth, I believe, was about six years. Actually. So okay. So Al Martino and Alexander the Pope are out. So well, one in eleven odds. Now. I would say. I'll go uh, telephone card. Take a piece of that list. Now you are just one right answer away from being a millionaire. Of course you can still walk away. Take your time. Lots of luck. Here comes the okay. final question. What is the name of the country residence for the use of the Chancellor? Checkers. Cheveney. Cleveland. Stornywood. Stornywood. This is actually the most recent one I've had. So, most recent top first question to debut, actually. And it actually was the first prediction I was going to go with, actually. So, okay. Thanks for watching.